What is this? I don't know what this is. This is the planer, and it's pretty amazing. Oh, that looks so neat. It's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. It's really cool. Hey friends, thanks for joining me today. We're gonna talk about the planer. All right friends, so this is our planer. It's a 13 inch thickness planer. It is meant to reduce the thickness of the lumber you put in here. So we have a wheel on the side here that you crank and you can bring the cutter head up, crank it down and move the cutter head lower. Now, this wheel says one revolution equals one sixteenth of an inch. That's too much to plane. Normally we're planing hardwoods and hardwoods take a lot of energy to plane that down because what we have here is a cylinder that has three long blades on it moving really fast. So, whenever you plane something, I like to go a quarter turn. So think of this as a clock. At the 12 o'clock, move to three. Run it board through. Move to six. Run it board through. Move to the nine o'clock position. Run it through, then to the 12. Run it through. Keep going like that. A quarter turn will guarantee those blades will last longer and the machine, the motor, won't have to work as hard. Another really cool feature of this planer is it has this, this adjustment wheel here where you can change the max depth that the planer will plane to. So if I don't want to plane it any um, lower than three quarter of an inch, I can set it to three quarters and then I can bring it down and just keep going and it won't let me go past that. That's a really nice feature. Okay, some safety things we need to be aware of when we use the planer. Number one, you have to protect your ears. It's super loud. It's really, really loud. I usually like to wear plugs and then I wear muffs over top because I wanna to try to save as much hearing as I have left. The second thing you need to watch out for is you do not want to stick your fingers past this level. When you push a board in here, if you're pushing a board through here and if it stops, you do not want to put your fingers past this level. The rollers are in there. There's two rollers that are pushing the board through. They grab the board basically and push it through and the cutter head is in the middle. You need to get a push stick to push the board. You do not want to slip and have your fingers go inside and then lose your fingers. So get a push stick first thing. Next thing, you cannot plane a board that is shorter than the distance between the rollers and our distance is 12 inches. If it's under 12 inches, like this one, you cannot put it through the planer. It'll bounce around in there, ruin the planer, ruin your blades, and it'll be a bad day. So if you have a board that's shorter than 12 inches, you need to use a different process, not the planer. If though you have a board that's 12 inches, you can go ahead and plane that down. Now, to reduce snipe, which snipe is a little chunk taken out of the wood at the front, or the rear of the board, you need to try to keep that level as you go in here. So if the board is tipped down like this and you stick it in there, the blade is gonna hit that top edge and take a little chunk out and that's called snipe. To reduce that, you lift it up as you go in and then it's good to have somebody else on the back side just to keep that at the same plane as it comes out so you don't get that snipe also. If your board that you're going to plane has knots that are loose, sometimes you'll have a knot in here where the piece of wood is in there and it's a little bit loose, you do not want to plane that around or plane that down because it can get in the machine and pop out and spin around, maybe shoot out, and you don't want that thing hurting your planer. 
So I would try to, if you can, cut around it and then put it through the planer. If you have the ability to, I mean, if, it, if the board's only 13 inches, you can't do that. But if you can, try to get rid of those knots and defects in the board first. All right, friends, so the planer is a really, really useful tool. It can take your board from something that's this, really rough and thick, and it can plane it down to something like this, something that looks really nice, a really good, um, pretty piece of lumber. And so a planer can do that. It can make it look really, really nice but don't abuse your planer. Those blades, those blades will be, need to be replaced once it starts um, not producing as good of a surface finish. So if you want a good surface finish, um, keep those blades in good shape and you do that by not taking too deep of a cut. Take just a little bit of a cut and then run it through again and not try to take all that cut at once. If you hear the planer start bogging down, so if it's going and then it starts bogging down, it'll sound just like that. If it sounds like that, lift the blade up, turn the wheel counterclockwise until it's able to push that board through and plane it the thickness that it uh, can plane easier. If, if it sounds like that, you're trying to take too much of a cut too deep and it's really hard on the machine. So if you hear that, bring it up a little bit and let that board go through. Now don't go all the way so that the board just stops and it's loose in there and it's kind of moving around. Just do it a little bit, bring it up a little bit so the board will pass through there. And then you can bring that board around again and then just go a quarter turn and plane that again. All right, so thanks so much for joining me today, folks. Thanks so much for looking at the planer and understanding how to use it safely. Talk to your instructor or look at the owner's manual before you just go to town on this to make sure you're being safe and to make sure you're working properly so you don't ruin your machine. Hey, but work hard because hard work is its own reward. Thanks for watching.